Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who have never been here before, my name is Lionel and I cook traditional Provence dishes, all vegan. I want to show you that vegan cooking is affordable, but is also attainable, even though you are just a beginner. I will show you step by step how to achieve succulent and flavorful dishes, all coming from Provence, the place in France I'm coming from. Today, we are going to cook ratatouille. Ratatouille is a French Provençal stewed vegetable dish. It's originating from the city of Nice. It's emblematic of Provence cuisine. You probably heard about it. It has been made even more famous because of the animation movie of the same name, Ratatouille. It's a dish that relies on the seasonability of the vegetables and the flavors will develop because of the separate cooking of each vegetable. In order for each vegetable to simply preserve its own taste and texture. Let's have a look at the ingredients and utensils you will need to realize this recipe. I've listed down below the list of ingredients and utensils in the description box, so you can have access anytime. To realize this recipe, you will need four medium sized aubergines, one large onion, three medium sized tomatoes, one bouquet garni, six medium sized zucchinis, also known as courgette, some olive oil, one tablespoon of sugar, some salt, six garlic cloves, 25 strands of saffron, two cloves, some fresh black pepper, four medium sized bell peppers, preferably of different colors. You will need a baking tray lined with parchment paper, a wooden spoon, a kitchen knife, a paring knife, a set of measuring spoons one large frying pan, a saucepan, a pot, the lid is not necessary, a small size salad bowl, four medium size salad bowls and one big size salad bowl. These will be used to put your chopped vegetables before cooking them. Start by washing all the vegetables, the aubergines, the zucchinis, the tomatoes and the bell peppers under the running water. Set your oven to 175 degrees Celsius and let the oven heat up. In the meantime, put the bell peppers in the baking tray lined with parchment paper. Put the bell peppers in when the oven is hot and bake them for 40 minutes until they're well charred. Fill the saucepan with tap water and put it on a hot flame until it boils. Cover it. Scar each tomato skin with a paring knife in a cross shape and add the tomatoes to the boiling water and let them cook for two minutes. In the meantime, fill a medium-sized bowl with cold water. After two minutes, pour the tomatoes in the cold water to cool them down. After 35 minutes, your bell peppers are roasted. Bring the baking tray to your working station and let the bell peppers cool down a bit until you can touch them without burning your fingers. Start to remove the green beets, the seeds, and peel off or scrap the skins of all the bell peppers. When all the bell pepper skins are carefully removed, roughly mince the flesh in small cubes. Then put the bell peppers bits back to the small salad bowl. Keep aside. Bring the medium sized salad bowl containing the cool down tomatoes to your working station and peel off the skins. Cut them in half. Mm -hmm. 
and remove the green beads. And also remove the seeds using your fingers. When all the tomatoes are done, cut them in smaller cubes and put them back into the bowl. Keep aside. Cut the zucchini's ends and slit them in halves. Then cut each half in three strips lengthwise. Then rotate and cut in small cubes. Repeat the operation until all the zucchinis are cubed. Put them in a medium-sized salad bowl and keep them aside. Trim off the two ends of the aubergines and make sure you remove all the green beets. Slice them in halves, lengthwise, and proceed to slice them in three or four long strips. It's the same technique applied to the zucchinis. Then rotate and cut them into cubes. Put the aubergine's cubes in a large size salad bowl and sprinkle three generous teaspoons of salt. Mix well with your hands for the salt to coat all the aubergine's cubes and keep it aside. The salt is going to drain the water out of the aubergines and as a result, they will absorb less oil when you will fry them. Let them drain water at least for 30 minutes. Then cut the onions two extremities. Cut the onion in two and peel off the skin. You can follow the technique I'm showing you in order to mince the onions quick and easy. When the onion is completely minced, put it into a medium-sized bowl and keep it aside. Peel off the six garlic cloves and mince them finely. Put them in a small salad bowl and keep them aside. All your vegetables are cut and cubed, ready to be cooked. Put the frying pan on medium-high heat. Add a generous tablespoon of olive oil to coat properly the bottom of the pan. When the oil is hot, add your cubed zucchinis. Let them cook for 15 minutes in total and stir them every 5 minutes or so. Don't let them stick to the pan. They should turn golden brown evenly. Put the cooked zucchinis back to the salad bowl and put them aside. On medium-low heat, place the cooking pot. Coat the bottom part with olive oil, approximately two tablespoons, and let it heat up. When it's hot, add the minced onions, the minced garlic and the bouquet garni. Stir well and let everything cook for 10 minutes. In the meantime, put the frying pan back to medium heat. Coat the bottom of the frying pan with two large tablespoons of olive oil. Take the salad bowl containing the eggplants and squeeze the water out. Then put immediately the drained eggplants in the hot frying pan be careful with the hot oil splashing. Be gentle. Let them cook for 15 minutes in total. They might stick a bit to the pan, so stir and scrap the pan frequently 
or if needed add a bit of more olive oil. In the meantime, come back to your cooking pot where the onions have been cooking for now about 10 minutes and add the chopped tomatoes. Add one tablespoon of sugar, two cloves and the saffron. Let them cook for another 50 minutes with the onions, garlic and bouquet garni. After 15 minutes, add the aubergines the zucchinis and the cubed bell peppers to the cooking pot. Mix delicately and taste to see if you need to add salt. Remember, you've salted the aubergines already, so maybe you don't need to add more. Grind some fresh black pepper and let the vegetable mixture cook for another 10 to 15 minutes on medium low heat. Your ratatouille is ready. Just take off the bouquet garni before serving it. This dish looks so pretty in the plate, so I can't wait to try and taste this ratatouille. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's really good. It's really good because the vegetable has been cooked separately, so they all kept their natural flavors, but also they haven't been overcooked. This is the secret of the ratatouille, is every vegetable retain their own particularity in terms of flavors or in terms of textures. If you put all the vegetables together in a stew, they're all going to cook for a long time all together and the vegetables in this recipe they don't need all the same cooking time so one of the things that i did is i oven roasted the bell peppers that's to bring the sweet flavors of the bell peppers if you don't like bell peppers just don't put bell peppers you still can make a ratatouille without bell peppers you won't have that kind of sweetness that the bell peppers bring but you will still have the flavors of the other vegetable so you can do it without so it's not very common to put saffron in a ratatouille, but I feel that uh, the saffron lifts uh, all the flavors of the vegetables. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. If you want to be notified when I publish a new recipe, click the notification bell button below. If you have questions regarding this recipe, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. And if you like my channel, just subscribe and join my community. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.